five, four, three, two, one. Hi oh, YouTube, FT here, and I've got another Yabo, but I know what this one is, and a little bit of chat. But first of all, the Hasaki Bing, as Jay would say, and I have to say Jay, I love the way you do that, and the hello there, fantastic. Anyway, I am a smoking my... Polish handmade bamboo and in it I'm smoking the old Tally Ho what squadron leader now before we get on to the box opening I just want to show you something that I find fascinating. My brother keeps hens, chickens. And uh, every now and again we get some eggs supplied from him. And they're the same type of chickens, the same breed. Uh, I want to show you this. Bear with me. This is an egg from a supermarket. And you might not be able to see it, but it's got a, a, like a lion stamp on it saying it's a certified egg and it's okay to use. Okay, now here's a sample of three eggs from my brother. So this is the egg from the supermarket. So that's the first sample, you see the slight colour difference. And bear in mind these are all from the same type of hen. Still got a bit of dirt over it. The colour difference in that one. I just found it fascinating. I think the shell, um, I know the shell strength comes from whatever they're given to eat, but uh, I just can't believe that. Uh, I don't want to drop them, but you look at those. Anyway, if uh, any of you do know things about hens, I'd love to know why the colour range is so different. And smoking squadron leader reminds me, it reminds me of a joke. A man wanted to join the Royal Air Force, so he goes and does all the tests and everything, and he passes 100%, no problem at all. And he's at his final interview, and the squadron leader is sitting on one side of the desk, and the man is on the other side of the desk, who's just about to join the Royal Air Force. So the squadron leader says, I say, old chap, there's one last test. Can you spell air? The man sat there, he goes, Yes, I can. A I R. The squadron leader said, Jolly good, jolly good. Um, can you spell hair? And the chap on the other side said, Yes, I can. H A I R. And the squadron leader says, Mmm. Very good, very good. Now, can you spell lair? And the chap thought about it. He goes, yes, I can do that. It's L-A-I-R. And the squadron leader on the other side of the desk said, yes, 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 jolly good, jolly good. Now, now, can you say all of those all together? And the man thought about it. He said, uh, yes, I can. Air, hair, lair. And the squadron leader said, Air, hell, air! Welcome to the Royal Air Force, old chap! <laughs> anyway, take it or leave it, guys. <laughs> so that's my squadron leader joke. Now, 
onto the box. It's a big box. Well, I had um, a little bit of history about this. This is called a lamp berger. And it's from Paris. And it's an air purification device. It's not like a, an aerosol that covers the odours. It actually destroys the odours and replaces them. Um, and I won't go into the huge details about it, but it was recommended to me because I had trouble uh, with my missus and some of the room notes uh, that were left after smoking certain tobaccos and one of them was Billy Bud. Now I love Billy Bud, uh, but unfortunately at the moment I can't smoke it in the house. So uh, a few of um, the community here recommended that I get one of these things. Now they're not cheap, even the cheapest isn't cheap. But I got one, and uh, it's basically what it is, is this glass container. This is a starter kit, so it comes with uh, oil. That's 250 millilitres of oil. That you should put in there. It then comes with a, a special wick device with a stone on it. And what you do is obviously when this has got the oil in it, you push all that in there and it sits on top. You leave it for half an hour because it's all brand new and it soaks up the oil. Then you light the stone. Now the stone will burn with quite a tall flame, about this big, for two minutes, exactly two minutes. Then you blow it out. You put this cap on it to stop yourself, burn yourself. So it sits like that. Now the heat of the stone at the top is 900 degrees and it acts exactly like a car catalytic converter in that the actual odour particles are drawn in, they're destroyed by the heat and of course the heat um, and the oil vaporises out so it actually replaces the odour particles with um, Whatever the, the, the essence of the smell, this is just called So Naturel, whatever that is. And it's uh, Parfum de Maison, which is perfumes of the house. Um, you get a little funnel. So you can fill this up with ease. And you get a, what's called, a, I'm calling it a stuffer cap or a stop cap. Which you can't get out. This, this one here. So you leave it in a room this size, it'll probably only need about 15 minutes. And then when all the odours have gone, you take the, the cage off and you put this stuffer cap on which covers the stone, stops the air system, the circulation and it goes out. And you do that every time you've had a smoke. And apparently it should work for the whole house as well. So I can go into my lounge, it may take half an hour of burning in the lounge. So hopefully this is my saviour. that will allow me to start smoking again in the house. So I'm going to set it all up, try it out and uh, report back. I have been almost guaranteed by some of our uh, German friends who are part of this community that it works 100%. Um, a bit of history about it, apparently it was developed um, for mortuaries and hospitals in the 1800s to take away the foul stench of decay and uh, it basically hasn't changed since then. The styling's changed but the mechanism and how it works hasn't. So we shall see. And this one, because it's a starter kit, basically comes in a nice little presentation box.
The other interesting thing about these, I found out by looking on the internet, is it doesn't matter whether you buy the cheapest one, which is about £50, or the most expensive one, which can be in the thousands of pounds, they work exactly the same way. No difference. The difference is the material it's made from, so such as this one is just glass, or a more expensive one of £300 might be made of porcelain, or the real expensive ones might be uh, a designer name logo on it, or some sort of weird design. Um, but they function exactly the same. So um, it really is a case of, of uh, br not brand naming, because they're all the same brand, but uh, snobbery. Because if you want to pay £3,000 for one of these that does exactly the same job as a 50 quid one, then you're obviously saying, look, I can spend this money. Uh, I can't, so I got the 50 quid one. <laughs> I do like my squadron leader. So there you go guys. I hope that wasn't too disappointing for you. But I do think it's worth sharing if it's a system that works. Because I'm sure I'm not the only one who has a problem of uh, she who must be obeyed or her indoors as we like to say here. Um, not liking the after odours. Uh, she doesn't mind the room note while you're smoking it, it's afterwards. A day afterwards she'll come in and say, oh it's, it smells stale. Uh, as in cigarette smoke. So uh, hopefully this will sort me out. Those of you who are expecting packages from me, I've got them boxed up now. Today is the uh, 26th Thursday, so I'll uh, get them sent out on Saturday and I'll send you all a PM just confirming that they've gone. So thanks for watching everyone and take care and keep the pipes alight. Cheers.